BFE, we are here getting ready to fillet these monsters. Look at these groupers, guys. Look at this snapper, 22 inch snapper, guys, and these lanes. I say yesterday was a heck of a day. So we're here gonna clean these fish and uh, we'll get back to you when it's time to clean, I mean, uh, cook them up, all right, later. What up BFE crew, this is Tito coming back at you with the clean and cook part of the grouper you guys saw us catch. So today we're gonna start making some rice and beans, Puerto Rican style. Um, we're also gonna make grouper, baked grouper, and some fried grouper. A little different, um, try them different ways, since we really never really ate grouper here at the house. So we hope you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna walk you guys along the way, and hopefully you guys enjoy, and take a little tips here and there if you like it. All right, we're gonna start our rice. We're gonna start with some olive oil. Just to cover the bottom of the pot. Um, let that get start getting hot. And then we use our Puerto Rican sofrito. This is what magic, makes the magic happen. Uh, this has a bunch of green peppers, red peppers, onions, cilantro, and all that's blended to make this wonderful goodness that we love to call sofrito. So we're using the sofrito and we're gonna drop one, two, three spoons, about that size, in there. We're gonna let that start boiling, getting hot, real nice and hot, and then we're gonna add a few more ingredients. So we got the sofrito and the oil boiling as you guys can see it. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of garlic. About that much in there. We're gonna throw what we call sazon. I'll throw two packets of this in there. This gives us some flavor and some coloring to our rice. Then we give all that a nice stir. Let all that combine. If you guys could smell this, you would go crazy. As you can see. Then while that's boiling, we're gonna throw in a nice jar of ham, cooked ham, chopped up, ready to go in for our rice. So we'll throw that in there and let all that get together real nice. Get all the juices from the ham flowing with the sofrito, with the garlic, with the olive oil. And we'll be right back and show you guys the rest of all this. So now we got all that nice and hot. We're gonna throw in about half a can of tomato sauce. about half a can of tomato sauce in there. Get all that going real nice. Once we have all that in there, we're gonna go and we have our red beans. Yes, they're a great value, but to me, it's not about the brand, it's how you prepare them. So, We throw them beans in there. Got them all in there. Now we let all that seasoning come together, become friends, enjoy each other, get to know each other. And as you can see, so far we got beans, ham, and the nice juices flowing. Then we're gonna throw in some adobo which we love adobo. Throw in about that much. Give it a nice stir. Then we got some five cups of rice. We're gonna pour all of that in there. Should we get all that rice? Now 
we're going to stir all that together. Stir all that together. Get all that going. So now once you got all that rice mixed in with all them seasonings, all them beans, the rice no longer looks white, then we go and pour in about that much water. Get all that going real nice. This is a trick that my mom and my grandmother showed me. If you can stand the spoon up like that, that means you got enough water, enough rice, everything should be good to go. So that's an old trick that us Hispanics like to use when we're cooking rice. And of course, you flavor it to taste, to what you guys like. Some people like salty, some people don't like it too salty, not too much flavor. I'm just showing you guys how I do it for us. Today we will have my mother-in-law with my father-in-law come over. We're having my mom and George come over to enjoy some dinner. And uh, it's Sunday, so it's family day and we get to cook and enjoy. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. So once we get our rice, put the water, the amount of water, everything you guys saw the spoon, we'll let that sit there until it starts drying up. Once it starts drying up, we'll go ahead and cover it up. Um, but when it's dried up, we go ahead and make a mountain. My mom always taught me to make a mountain Take it off the side of the rice, the walls of the rice, so that it doesn't stick, it doesn't get burned. And then you cover it, and the steam will finish cooking off the rice. So we're gonna go ahead and wait till the water, everything evaporates. Then we'll make a mountain, then we'll cover it. See you guys in a minute. So we got our rice to a nice boil, guys. And we have plenty to go ahead and start making that mountain. Getting it off the walls. Stirring it up, getting it off the bottom. And if you guys have any questions on the ingredients that I'm using or anything, just leave a comment. I'll answer you. I'll let you know where you can get them, uh, what, what they are. If you guys like these videos, these clean, uh, clean and cook videos. We'll do more of them. I know I haven't done one in a while. But, uh, yeah, I really enjoy cooking. My days of cooking are normally the weekends. I give my wife a break, being that she cooks every day of the week, pretty much. Except for Fridays, I give her a break. So when we normally get pizza, or we'll get something for the family. But I try to cover over on the weekends. And of course, when I'm doing it on the weekends, I try to do something special for the family so we can enjoy it all together. So Sunday dinners are normally our nice heavy dinners, something different, something that we don't eat all the time. Alrighty, so now we'll go ahead and load that down to a number five or six depending on your stove and we'll put a lid on it and that rice will be ready to go here in about half an hour, 45 minutes. All right, VFE, we're coming back to you with some grouper. Nice, beautiful, clean white meat. And as I've seen a lot of different videos, everyone's talking about keep your fish dry, dry them off, pat them up. So we dried them off, we patted them down. Here we have some white flour with Old Bay seasonings and uh, blackened seasoning. But before I put them in here to fry them up, because I'm doing grouper in two different ways, like I told you guys, we're gonna fry one and we're gonna bake one. And we're gonna see which one we like the best. We're gonna try them both and we're gonna enjoy it. But before I do that, of course, I gotta start with my Everglades seasonings. Okay, while I'm seasoning this grouper with Everglades seasonings, I'm gonna show you guys a quick clip on how we caught these grouper. Here we go. Brian's on again, guys. Brian's on again. That's a nice lean. Oh yeah. That's a good fish right there. So we got one grouper in the live row. I don't know how legal that is. We're at our limit, but he's he's doing five. So we were hoping for a bigger one. That one was what, 24? Yeah. Try not too much, not too much. Not too much. Keep going. Yep. Stop for a second. That's pretty tight, brother. 
Don't flop it, okay? Down easy. That's a monster Get fish. Head coming up. Okay? Head coming up. Now crank, crank, crank. Don't put your tip down here too. You're already getting that going because he's that's a quality fish. So don't horse him. Don't tighten your drag up. Your back hurt? You need help? George, help him out. George, come on, brother. Help him out, George. That's the nicest thing anyone's done on this boat today. It gets to you after a while, right? Your lower back. I know it does. And you've He's caught the majority of the yeah. fish in the box. Yeah, he has. That's a stud. Oh, yeah, that's that a monster. He's almost fighting like an amberjack. That'd be fun. Oh, yeah. All right, man. I could tell you were cramping up. <laughs> that, that 31, he didn't even phase him. Nah. I'm curious this is this crazy. Is. Oh, boy. Have we seen color yet? Perfect. I'm going to take a little bit of heat off of him because I don't want him to break. It may tra drag a little bit more, but... If you need to switch back. Oh my. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I see that head shake. Oh! Oh what my is God. this thing? Is that a group? That is a massive. Absolutely. Get it, George. Get it, George. You guys want to see more of this video? Go back to the last two videos and you'll see how we caught all these fish. Now let's go back to the kitchen. All right, so we got them covered with nice Everglades seasonings. Now we're going to put them in our flour. We're not going to put a lot, just sit them in there. Just to give them a nice little coat. And we'll do that for the rest of them, all right? All right, so as you guys can see, grouper's all nice and covered and coated. But I'm gonna throw a little bit more of this blackened seasoning over it, just to give it a little dash over it before I throw it in the nice hot peanut oil and put this fish back to swimming. So we'll do that. And then we're gonna go and start preparing the fish to go in the oven. That's gonna be totally different. You guys will see that here shortly. All right, so our fish for the oven, I'm gonna do it with a Spanish twist. We're gonna put some sofrito on these fish. We're gonna coat them, lay them to sofrito. After we do that, I'm gonna show you guys, just coat it real nice, give it a nice green coating on the outside, all right? So that right there. Then we're gonna take some adobo and sprinkle right on top, real nice. And that's how we're gonna prep all of these fish that are gonna go in the oven. And you guys will continue seeing what we're gonna do here shortly. I'm we'll gonna put some olive oil on these as well so they don't go ahead and get burnt and stuck to the bottom. We're gonna also throw some onion powder on all of them real quick, just a nice little sprinkle, and some garlic powder. Now, we're gonna coat them with red onions. Give it some flavor on top. They're all gonna be coated like that with red onions. Then, we're gonna throw some baby potatoes and some baby carrots in here to cook with the fish. So as the fish is cooking, all the juices and everything is pouring out are going onto the potatoes and the baby carrots. All right? All right, now we're dropping all these baby potatoes around here on the outside, covering them up. We're just gonna go around like that potatoes around here. We're gonna throw these baby carrots around here as well. Just in the corners like that. Alright. And bean 
assuming that we just did that, I think we should throw a little bit more garlic powder on the vegetables as well. And a little bit of onion powder on all of this. That's gonna give all these potatoes and carrots some flavor as well as they're cooking. And then we're gonna go ahead and cover this with aluminum foil so the steam could start cooking all the vegetables, start cooking the fish. And once it gets almost done, I'm gonna uncover it and put it to broil. Just give it a nice little brown, golden brown on the top part, all right? All right, BFE, we are ready to throw these grouper in the oil, send them back swimming, and to enjoy them here shortly. So we're gonna start off with this nice big filet. And let's see how this thing sizzles. We got peanut oil that we're using. My lovely wife got me some peanut oil to cook with because it's so much nicer to cook fish with. Look at that. That right there is some happiness. <laughs> Crab salad made by the wifey, fried grouper, sauteed shrimp, and honey glazed asparagus with some rice. Oh yeah, it's about to go down in the Vasquez residence. So starting on the left side, we got my wife, beautiful wifey, mother-in-law, Brian the fisherman, El Viejo, my mother, and George. We had a great dinner. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and God bless.